Rush Limbaugh is indeed a messiah. He is a messiah, an inspiration, and a leader for the conservative Republican Party. Now, as much as he doesn't want to be compared to President Obama, he is exactly like him, if not more aggressive than President Obama. I mean, can you imagine President Obama giving a speech like a Rush Limbaugh would do on his radio show every day? You know, this guy has one set of mind, one tunnel vision that calls for conservatism, okay? Now let me give you a little example. You take a little boy, grown up in a Nazi camp in Germany back in 40s and 30s. You put that boy, who was a grown man at the time you take him from that environment, put him into a democratic United States and just leave him in the open road. Especially New York, let's say you leave him in New York. He sees a Jewish man walking, he's walking around. What do you think this man's going to do? What do you think his insides wants to do? He wants to go there and choke this Jewish man. Because that's what he has grown up to learn. Because that's his environment. Now, you can take Rush Limbaugh. You can take President Clinton. You can take Abraham Lincoln. You can take Rush Limbaugh. You can take Reagan. You can even take Ron Paul. They're all the same. They are product of their environment. They are product of an ideology that was embedded in them from their surroundings and their ambience. Does that mean that their, their rhetoric and their policies can cure any kind of economy? Absolutely not. If you think this world can become the best place in this universe if it was just strictly run on democratic point of view, you are mistaken because we would run this country dry in one presidential term. Same goes for the Republicans. You have a Republican Party take control of the presidency, the House, the Senate, okay, even the floor. This country would be become a third world country in literally two terms. Because what is a conservative, you know, Republican view? The view is we don't get involved in your business, you don't get involved in our business, and you are responsible for yourself. The government is not responsible for yourself. So let's say you lose your job. More than 45% of the people lose their job. Can't find jobs, there's no jobs out there. Well, guess what? This is a Republican-run world where you can't even file your unemployment claim because unemployment claim didn't come into place because of Republicans, because of their such generosity. Unemployment claims came in because of democratic policies. Okay? You get kicked off your job, you lose an arm and a leg at some factory back in the 1800s. In a Republican run world, that's it, sorry. You know, if you can afford a lawyer, go fight him. We're not going to step in the way. Now imagine you going through that now. How much hatred would you have for your government? So you have to realize that when he says Obama is a messiah, and a leader for the Democratic Liberals. Rush Limbaugh is no different. He is a leader of the Republican Party. He is a messiah for the Conservative Party. He is the messiah of the Tea Party. Okay? No one ideology will ever win. And this is why you always, always will need a balance of Republicans and Democrats, of Liberals, Moderate, and Conservatives. You want them to argue each other. You want them to agree on one thing and pass that one thing because you know that one thing will be balanced it'll have yin and the yang not just yin or yang that's not what life is as every single one of you Rush Limbaugh listeners think so think if you have to read some book go back to school go back to college get some you know uh, political science courses going learn what exactly is politics now this uh, abomination, this hatred that Rush Limbaugh has for President Obama, okay? I've never seen this much hatred even for Clinton, even for Bill Clinton. Why do you think this is? 
okay and yes you're gonna think i'm gonna step into that racial thing and you know what we have to it is it is obviously crystal clear that this man who has such conservative views okay cannot stand a man with a darker skin a man perhaps 10 times as smart as rush limbaugh as a leader of the united states of america and how people worship obama out of country how people you know just can't believe who's this guy he can't stand that he can't stand liberals okay a balanced guy will not hate liberals he will say okay liberals what is your viewpoint you know what liberals i like 40 percent of what you say and you know what conservatives i like 70 percent of what you say and you know what what i'm going to do i'm going to take these points together that i like and i'm going to present it that's what it is okay what Rush Limbaugh followers think, what he has made them to think like a messiah, is that the view of the conservative party is going to save the world, which is never true, because remember, there's a yin and the yang. You need the balance. You cannot have Nazis rule the world, and neither can you have monks run the world. You have to have the balance. And this is what this person, this man named Ruff Limbaugh, does not realize. Do you know the, who's the most balanced politician in the United States, if not the world? It's Ron Paul. And no wonder Ron Paul has the biggest fan following from both parties. Because, I'll give you an example of Ron Paul. Ron Paul is like a CEO of a company. You know how a good CEO, what he does, a good leader. He takes points from this side and this side. He takes the, all the good points, matches them together, throws it out at the world. That's what Ron Paul does. He takes ideas from here, ideas from here, and present them to the world that this is how it should be run. He's not a Republican. I don't consider Ron Paul as a Republican. He's an independent. He's the man for the people and by the people. And look, look, Republican Party and Democratic Party, we have screwed this country enough by choosing some of the most dumbest president in history. And yes, you can say President Obama is not doing a good job either. Fine, whatever. But since you have chosen all these leaders yourself, whether they're reptilians or not, give this human being a chance. Ron Paul a chance. Just give him one term, goddammit. Just give him one term. Give him two years. You know, just say, look, two years you got, show him what you can do. And if he can't prove, then yes, he gets to go out. But look, that's what's happening to Obama. Obama can save this country too, if you look at it logically. But the Republicans who are controlling the Senate and the House, they, are, they do not want to pass these policies to really get them going, to really get them to what they don't want to. They, they, they hate him. They can't stand who's this young African-American guy controlling our country. They have this yen thinking, this one-sided thinking. Even Democrats have that. You know, we need more balanced approach, and balanced approach will never be coming into this country because Welcome to the world. Anyway, guys, subscribe above for more logical videos. And check out, definitely check out my sci-fi book below, which is Kyrex the Message of Pascal about human evolution, how humans came to be, how we evolved, how there's a secret gap in evolution, and definitely the, my political views and my upbringing and my ambience on the polit politics, especially which is embedded in Kyrex 2, Part 2, The Hidden History. Okay, which I talked about the Anunnaki, the moon, alien moon base, I think so. Check it out. Thanks.